All right, so you guys voiced your opinions. You guys have been uh, quite, quite vocal. 87 goddamn comments at the time of recording this. Holy shit, you guys apparently like to hear me say your words, so let's get to it so i'm gonna go through as many as i can and read them to clarify what i said earlier i'm not kidding when i say i barely have time to do this my days are about 15 hour days and i usually have like nine hours of turnaround between going back and forth through shifts and i try to get these videos done before the next episode comes out so that's why i say i don't have time because i barely have any at all why do I bother? Nailed it. This was a typical boring paint by numbers episode. They even dusted off the Dean lies to Sam for no reason whatsoever other than to start a fight between the two trope. I thought we were done with that. Shouldn't these episodes be building up suspense to the biggest confrontation of all time? The show's protagonist versus actual God. Instead, Sam and Dean are hand wringing on whatever to let Jack blow himself up. What is this even sh the show even about anymore? And yeah, nope, you're 100% uh, there. Admittedly, I think that Dab is gonna do what he's known to do, which is three story arcs. The last three episodes, well, the next three episodes will be the finale of the story, whereas episode 20 is the finale of the show from what they've seen. So that's what I'm gonna probably think will happen. They can't stay with the main story because Chuck being a mustache twirling supervillain is ludicrous. It's one note meta crap with no uh, no other depth, credibility, or character motivation. Hence, rehashed or retconned superficial trips down memory lane. Yeah, they can't do anything else. I feel like Sam's anger was over the top. It's not like Dean has kept the secret for long. It's two, three days at most. It's not like Sam hasn't been on board with using Jack as a weapon since he came back munching on angel hearts. Sam and Dean have been around the block enough to know that the plan is going to require a sacrifice. Why is Sam acting like it's a major revelation? Yeah. And why aren't they acting like they have any sorts of sense of urgency? Miss Butters announced all the other worlds were gone and Sam and Dean are like, oh yeah, sure, let's go hunt. The issues of the good... Of the one versus the good of the many have been done and done better. It's not like Sam also didn't keep secrets from Dean for his visions earlier this year. It just seems like manufactured drama. 100%. I thought it was weird at, that Sam was so angry. It's like, man, like they didn't even. That was like a day. That's the that's the shortest kept secret in supernatural history between the two brothers. Some of the scenes legit it had me cringe out loud. Like when she was escaping the hotel and Sam kept saying. I uh, kept talking so bad or when the child Dean called Sam a dumbass so bad yes that was very bad and felt weird and was so bored at the last three episodes since it came back and I am more of a positive fan than you multiple f moments did I don't know the energy feels low I feel like they're trying as much and what a waste of an episode also retreading on keeping secrets my god seriously CW do they think only secrets create conflict. This could have easily been an episode dedicated to fixing heaven or in even addressing Lucifer versus Michael via Michael saving himself or something. And also how many friends they got. For lonely kids, they sure had a lot of friends. Are there friends with every person in America? It's like it's their it's like their well pick of a random person in to fill an episode. This whole episode is a retread of so many tropes. By the way, actually this episode is written by the same person who did the last call, which is that singing one with that friend that also never appeared in the show's history, but apparently appeared there. Two episodes of the same style in the same season. Fucking lazy. What amazes me is how no one saw how bad Dab and company were going to end this show. Has no one been watching the last three seasons? Season 15 is a continuation of season 2, which was poor. Season 13 was bad. Season 14 was awful. The decline in ratings and the decrease of activity in the fandom was a massive sign that the writing was on the wall for Supernatural as soon as Dab took over. Me and my fellow fans have been saying this since season two, uh, 12 and very few have listened. Don't worry, that was me. I was very, very vocal of how season 12 ended, and I was in the minority, and now it seems that it's obviously starting to become more relevant. Another Thursday, another filler. I just stopped watching and started skipping through them, just uh, until I find a glimpse of Amara, Jack, Castiel, or God. You're going on a hunt right now, said the side character, the main character, reminding them that there's still a universe-ending event that he's not addressing. When you have a remind your main characters about the main villain and the main plot-driving event of your series, you're doing something wrong. This isn't just the finale, it's the death of our love and appreciation for the show. 100 f 
watching percent there. How can we come back from the final seven episodes of the season and they skip over Sam and Dean's reactions to Sal, uh, Jack's soul returning? Three filler episodes in a row, and next week's episode looks like it's going to be another one. What the fudge? What uh, What is Dad going to wait to wrap up stuff at the very last second of Lost Faith? I haven't heard about the last episode, or the next episode, or whether it's a filler or not. I don't think it should be. I really goddamn hope it's not. But, ugh. I feel you, man. I'm defeated as well. I can't believe that they're doing what they're doing. There's literally zero build-up to the finale, a conversation here with Amara, and a conversation there with Death. I mean, this shit doesn't e mean anything. I'm actually watching season 9 right now, and I can't believe how much more entertaining that is. this is than this BS. I love the show, I love the boys, but this is unworthy. P.S. Dab Reckoning Stroke again. Slash Dean... Teen Dean being okay with Sam going to college and leave. The family business. Watch season 1, Andrew Dab. I'm praying for a season 11, uh, episode 20 to 23 finale. That would be really cool. That was a great arc. It was really, really freaking good. It was one of my favorites, uh, at least of the latter. But finding you, I haven't seen season 9 in so long, so when do I eventually get to that in my retro reviews? I will be interested to see it. I'm smiling, reading these comments, and watching this review. I stopped watching Supernatural as a continuous story after Dab's first five episodes, so I watch every episode as an entity within itself. Therefore, this episode wasn't bad. The writing was like from a ten-year-old. The writing was hard, but the story was okay. Everything about Sam and Dean was contrived and not canon. Sam's anger at the end was over the top, and he was like a five-year-old that never grew up. The final kill of the monster of the week was sad. Very sad. It was so boring. But again, it's the writer, who has no idea how to narrow a narrative to a coherent type of story. I still enjoy the episode for how simple it was. I'm so sorry, J2, have had to ruin your character so thoroughly. I strongly agree with you, Jeremy. For me, this whole episode felt, really felt like I was watching a, a cheap ripoff of a Stephen King it. But instead of Pennywise, a dancing clown, we had Baba Yaga as a main antagonist who basically does the same shit. She lures kids and eats them, shapeshifts into different people and seemingly killed at first, but actually return what well, wasn't in returns 25 years later. Actually, yeah, that's that was it. That was basically the. Uh, but again, it was also kind of like um, uh, oh, fudge, what was it? Something wicked from season one. I will admit I don't hate this episode as much as you do and find it better than the previous two episodes, but it's still no good. It's just bad. Just like the majority of the people in this comment section already mentioned it before, why do we still have filler in the last seven episodes of the season? Just why? This is ridiculous and I really don't get it. I loved your reviews more than the show itself for a long time. It's so reassuring to know there's other people who are frustrated as me with how this show has turned out. Don't worry, friendo, you are not alone. Uh, it's... Oh, it's been rough, but hey, we're almost done. We're almost done. Overall, I didn't hate this episode. However, it did bring up an issue I have had with this season for a while, and the episode reinforced this issue, and that these episodes would have been fine if it was any other season. I'm okay with the concept for this episode. If it had better acting and was in an earlier season, it might have turned out great, but regardless, it didn't. Also, when you find out in the beginning of the episode that Dean didn't tell Sam about Jack, it made me frustrated. This is the last season, and there shouldn't be any secrets between the brothers. I did like the ending, though. I like the acting from both jared and jensen and i'm still looking forward for the rest of the season your title is a bit off because it says season 16 and it shows the pretty much how you felt about the episode oh yeah for some reason i had this issue where i accidentally wrote season uh season 16 and uh yeah that was my bad that was uh, that was a mistake on my part Honestly, if these episodes weren't lit up to, p to pieces, weren't lit up to pieces, shot on film, and wide lens were used as much as this episode uh, could have been creepier. All in all, five out of ten for me. Not bad, but not amazing either. Honestly, as Supernatural fans, we're all here for the end. I'm, I'll be honest, their overwhelming dislike on Reddit and Twitter is really surprising me. Where was this during season 12? Yes, nowhere near as much as it is now. I'd like these episodes over anything from that. Jeremy, you and this channel don't count to me because you've always been critical of the show the past five seasons and I respect your opinion. Is that a compliment? Anyways, but uh, yeah, if you've got uh, any links to these Reddit things, I would love to see general, like more people having a reaction like just a critical reaction because uh, if you go to IMDB, people just get shut down because people who fantasize this show 
apparently can't take any form of criticism. Of the whole three minutes dedicated to the main plot line, all of it was delivered via dialogue. It would have been nice to see how Amara comes to her decision to help the boys are not considering since she's supposed to be on the fence right now. Would have been a good opportunity to see her interactions with Chuck. Maybe even witness her him destroy the last alternative world and say we decided to give us an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? That is irrelevant to the main plot. That is definitely a, sh a sign of how lazy it is. Like It's a filler episode, but like how do we make it about the, uh, the story? Well, in the previous, they always had conversations. But this is different. This isn't... You can't do that right now. You have to build up to the end. This is it. This is the end of the show. Admittedly, it doesn't help that we've been on this big break. Like, maybe it wouldn't be as critical. We wouldn't be as critical. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Like, that's not a big maybe, but a little maybe. We wouldn't be as hard on it if they actually had planned, like, if these episodes were coming out back in May. But even still, I would still be critical of it because the writing's just so goddamn lazy. I don't know, man. I really enjoyed this episode, but it might be because I love the movie It, and this episode felt just like that. Well, if you want a better version of it, watch Something Wicked. That's it. This is like a cheap, cheap, cheap dollar store version of that. I'm related, but your intro, I'm confused. How is that mug always hot? It's not always hot. That's a secret. For the first time ever, I turned it off 21 minutes in. First of all, how dare they sully my beloved Baba Yaga from my childhood. Secondly, stop trying to make this into Stranger Things or a ripoff of The Goonies with new actors playing uh, young, and Sa uh, young Sam and Dean who look nothing like their previous actors and even less like Jared and Jensen. So, 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 so bad. I can admit that is an issue. It always is difficult to try and find kid actors who look like your main cast and let alone kid actors who look like other kid actors who look like their main cast so i can understand that but funny funny like uh i really wanted to i really wanted to go back and watch ratchet much of this season has been a poorly done superficial rehash of how far uh, of far more interesting past episodes and events yes yes definitely rehashes of their own goddamn writing they can't come up with anything original so tweak a retcon whatever they steal with a death in each universe close systems concerned from their own worlds, I don't know why Billy would know anything about them. I don't trust her or believe her. She is manipulates everyone. Rowena's belief in prophecy, Jack's need for forgiveness, Dean's anger, at least Sam is asking questions. I'm going to need a rewatch of the first five seasons after this so I can watch the last ten seasons out of my mouth. I'm just glad that I can come all that we can all come here and complain together have you s ever seen penny dreadful it's an incredibly well done show three season dark villa yes i've seen penny dreadful i didn't mind the first season however there was a few things that i called off right off the bat mainly josh harnett and it did kind of deviate but i i want to finish the rest of it also not season six i would say season nine and ten and eleven aren't bad eleven really good that eleven's where it should have ended so it's, it's not all terrible, but yeah, the last four the uh, last four seasons have been horrible. I tried to tell you Supernatural is trash. After season five, they've been borrowed on borrowed time, and now they're showing the true colors. Uh, after this, the last four episodes better be amazing. But I'm not crossing my fingers. Honestly, man, I'm just I'm just waiting to see it end. Just waiting to see it end. You know, I personally enjoy Supernatural filler episodes, but considering we're this close to the end, how about we don't? No, I know. Actually have episodes that are that's about the plot. I mean, they had seven episodes left and they wasted half of it on filler episodes. I know you said you don't like Arrow, but give the show this at least. When it came to his final season and didn't waste it didn't waste it half of its episodes on filler episodes. I don't wanna watch the show, it's just Batman, but if that's what you're saying is true, that's how you do a proper final season, right? You actually focus on everything. Like, Justified. Justified was focusing on everything. All of the, about the main character and that. And, yeah, that's... That's actually because I've been watching The Good Place why I made that reference. I think that Satan's got not only Jet Winchester's dad, but all the adequate supernatural fan base too. Watching it, even though through your reviews, is a horrible torture. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not that... Oh, God. I hope I'm not that torturous to you. Oh man, I feel like this season is going to be worse than 14. All of the writers from season 12 slash 15 are all over the place. Clearly they don't know how to write a proper story, especially coming from Dab. What happened to the original Supernatural? This show went from a scary to a fan service era. Oh yeah, and the series finale, finale 
has been changed to a, a bunch of times, so look out for that. Yeah. I actually like this one and wasn't expecting to. I suppose that not really saying much considering how bad the season is, but at this point I'll take anything that's not Jack the Great Savior. I agree with a lot of the comments I've seen on various sites from fans who have been, had enough of Dean being portrayed as the bad guy. I had a gust full of the last season, and here we go again. Does Dab just hate Dean? Is that it? I'll admit, yeah, da Dab and Dean just seem to have this issue back and forth about... Dean's, I, I don't know, Dean's just a cartoon. He's been a cartoon for a bit, and he went full cartoon in that episode with Miss Butters. Like, I couldn't take him seriously at all. Uh, last week, I watched a promo for the next episode before watching Jeremy's take on that one just aired and thought oh boy wait till he finds out he's watching a filler episode next week hang on jeremy only four more weeks of torture i will do my best this episode was absolute trash i've never wanted to skip an episode so badly before remember how much build up the earlier seasons had remember how much hype there was for azael lilith lucifer the apocalypse now they're literally going to kill god and amara while ending the show and they're doing stupid monsters the week filler episodes did they seriously try to sell us another brother hides something from the other brother gets mad how many times have will they repeat this the same stupid plot threads i don't care if they ever they say they need to fill time for the ending because they could have easily filled it with anything of the 10 plot lines that they have established and dropped. Remember Heaven dying? Yeah, Dab doesn't seem to remember either. It's sad watching my favorite show die like this. It's hard to watch it considering just it, we're always going to have to associate this season with the entirety of the show, no matter how hard we try not to. But it's, it's rough. It's like, I can't believe we're heading into this. Like, this is, this is so close. This is so close to the end. The actors, besides Jared and Zenson, uh, were absolutely terrible in this episode, especially Caitlin, who tries so hard to act like she's grieving. Although, I thought this episode was had almost had that creepy atmosphere from season one, but too bad it got ruined by the most shittiest jump scares on the show. However, the one in, uh, upside of this episode is that they showed Sam stop being a submissive bitch that Sam uh, dad made him into and finally stand up for Dean for once stand up to Dean for once glad to see my favorite character stop being a pussy and also think Jared did a great job acting legitimately pissed other than that the episode overall was like you said underwhelming still can't believe this is the final season and this is what we're doing with the little time we have left to wrap it up I feel like one of the only people that likes this show and more positive about it You do you, man. Anyways, guys, those are the comments I wanted to read. Thank you again for your outpour. Holy crap, this video is going to be the longest comment video I've done. Uh, also, by the way, for all those of you who tuned in, thank you for those of you who tuned into Emilio's charity stream. We were able to get it over his goal. We were able to get up to $1,300 and something, something. Um, over, his original goal was 500 and then it went to 1000 and then we got it up to there. So that's great. Thank you to those of you who tuned in. If any of you donated, also thank you because it's all going to a good cause to fight cancer. Otherwise, that's all for me, guys. We've got the next episode coming up. So make sure to taste, stay tuned in for that. And I'll see you guys next video. Four more episodes left. That's all I got to do. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.